The freeze frame transition is a super easy and really fun transition that can really spice up your edits. The first thing that you'll want to do before creating the transition is to time your edit to the music. You can see here that I have my edit cut up to the beat of the music. If you don't, when you add music and you need to re-time the edit, you might have to redo the effect from scratch since you're creating the effect using a specific frame. Let's recreate the freeze frame transition on this shot. I'll alt click and drag to create a copy of this clip and I'll drop it on top of itself. I'll move my playhead to the beginning of the clip by hitting the up arrow and then I'll hit shift H to create a hold frame. You could also hit alt F to create a freeze frame they are very similar and it doesn't really matter which method you prefer, I just like using a hold frame. Next, I'll hit Ctrl D to change the duration of the clip and I'll set that to 10 frames. I'll move the hold frame over the previous clip and then I'll add a draw mask effect. I'll zoom in a bit here and then I'll cut the car out by clicking to add points. And I can click and hold to create curved sections in the mask and I'll get a relatively neat mask around the car. What's great about this freeze frame effect is that the mask doesn't have to be perfect. I'll feather the mask slightly and then I'll zoom back out and hit the down arrow key to go to the end of the clip. I'll set a keyframe on the position parameter and then I'll hit the up arrow to go back to the beginning of the clip. Next, I'll activate my transform tool and looking at the car here, you'll notice that the car comes in from this direction. So I'll move the car over here to match the direction of the movement. I'll zoom out again so we can see both keyframes on the screen and I'll right click on the first one and set it to linear. This means that there won't be any easing and the car will move from maximum speed and ease into position. I can click done and zoom back in. I'll scrub through here and you'll see that we have the car moving in quite nicely. Let's make it blend a bit more by adding a directional blur effect. Using the on-screen controls, I can match the direction of the movement and by pulling this further away from the center, I can increase the blur amount. I'll go a little higher than what I think I might need to create realistic motion blur because I'm going to hit the up arrow again to go to the beginning of the clip and set a keyframe on the blur amount. I'll hit the down arrow and then set the keyframe value to zero and hit return. So the directional blur will change over time from its maximum amount all the way down to zero. Add sound effects if you like, and that's how easy it is to create the freeze frame transition. I find that it works really well when you have fast moving subjects in your scene, but the freeze frame transition will work on just about anything. One thing I've noticed, however, is that you don't get the best results when your subject is really small. If you have a look at this example, you can see that it just doesn't pack the same punch as it does when your subject is much larger. If you enjoyed this video, then you need to watch this video next to try out this trending masking effect.